Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to show you detailed trick how to draw a uh, sleeves only with the help of the armhole. Okay, let's get into the video. So I just took a chart paper to make a pattern out of this. So make sure that when you drawing a sleeves, you just fold the fabric in half. You to start marking only by your folded edge of the fabric. So this is the folded edge of the fabric and I'm going to lay this down and see i'm going to lay my fabric like such and you can see this is how it's going to look so i just placed my fabric on top of my pattern paper so now i'm going to measure the height of the armhole armhole is starting exactly at this point and all you have to do is you're going to just stretch a little bit like this towards the down and you're going to mark the same over here okay so this is going to stand straight like this but when you're trying to trace the pattern on a fabric to make a sleeve make sure you hold the fabric firm and you just stretch a little bit not too much not down like this little bit to get the exact stretch of the armhole like this okay so this fabric already have a seam allowance of quarter inch which is going to come this point and that quarter inch is also going to further follow on your pattern paper okay so this is the exact sleeve measurement and i have just given a quarter inch for seam allowance so when i stretch and pull like this that quarter inch is also going to fall on my sleeves fabric okay so now just i'm going to take this fabric out and to make it clear let me draw a line this is going to be the height of my sleeves and from here it's going to go all the way up like such so if you have a french curve you can use your french curve to draw this armhole if you are beginner please it will be really helpful for you people to draw the armhole and to make a u neck line so if I'm using my French curve to draw the same sleeves, what I do is I just place my French curve in a such way that this point and this line should meet, uh, should meet the scale. So let me place it like this and I'll be drawing this in a blue color chalk. Also I'll be showing you how to draw in a free hand and from here I'll be connecting this. Okay, this is how it's going to come and this is having a seam allowance of quarter inch for stretching so I just mark that and it's going to come all the way down and from here I'm going to straight this and it's going to go all the way up okay so if I'm drawing the same with my free hand let me rub this out okay so this is the point and from this point I'll be gradually going down and I'll be connecting it like this okay so this is the exact point and this is the seam allowance that you have given for the sleeve and from now you're going to measure the length of the sleeve the length of the sleeve is absolutely depends upon you uh, I'm making this pattern for my daughter so the distance between these is going to be like 2.5 inches so if you're making it for yourself the distance would be like 3.5 inches and it will be like till a 3.5 to 3.8 and it won't go more than that okay now i'm just going to uh, measure the height measure the length of the sleeves i just want the length of the sleeves to be 5.5 inches and i'm just giving a mark over there and let me draw a line okay now i'm going to connect this line to this line like this and this is the seam allowance that i have given and connect the seam elements like this okay so the next step is you're going to cut this out so when i'm making this for my daughter i won't take the front side in depth but when you make for yourself make sure you take a little bit of marginal amount of fabric from the front part of your sleeves because if you have heavily busted you have to take a little bit out of that so that the sleeve will sit exactly on the shape of your armhole okay okay so 
So French curve is very important guys. If you find French curve, please do buy French curve and it will be really helpful. I have also made a sale for the scissors because most of them are asking me about the scissors and they really want to buy this. But if you are not in my Facebook group, please do check with the link in the description box. This scissors works great. Believe me, I have just changed more than 10 scissors. But this scissors came for me like a 3 to 4 years now and I never sharpened it. That is the uh, great news about this. It's a high carbon steel scissors. And if you want, you can just contact me through Messenger. I'll be there. Okay. So this is the front side. Okay. And this is the back side. So to the front side, I'm going to take a little bit of pattern out like such. That's more than enough. It's that simple and easy. Hope you like this video and hope this video would be really informative. And if you like this video and if you want more informative videos like this, don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit on the like button below. See you next time with a different kind of video. Take care. Bye-bye.